Hey guys and welcome back to another Hard Rock Knox review. Today we are very excited to check out a gaming mouse and a Surface from a brand that may not be familiar to many. Now that's because the company only recently got back into the game with the introduction of the MS3 and the 1030L Surface. Now the company's slogan itself is an interesting element which is sort of the backbone of every single gaming peripheral and that's functionality. So with that in mind and expectations set quite high, let's check it out. And starting with the mouse, one of the most predominant features you'll notice right away is the full hand support. Now when it comes down to ergonomics, it's one of the most crucial aspects for precise aiming and obviously hand comfort. So it is designed for palm type grip with natural thumb support but also placement for your ring and pinky finger. Your hand just fits in and the rubberized surface does complement the entire design. Now you can still use the mouse with the claw grip but its unconventional size is quite distracting as your pinky and ring fingers are uh, sort of the oddly placed on the side. Now the mouse is quite wide because of the extra support on the right side and does require some time getting used to. And the MS3 weights only 127 grams, so fairly light for its size, and unfortunately we are unable to customize the weights. Now on the one hand, the large size does complement its lightweight, since you can still do quick navigation, however I would have loved having the ability to add a few extra grams to make the mouse slightly heavier. And aside from the hand support, the button quality and layout is very well executed. All of the buttons have a smooth press, allowing a little extra travel time after the button is registered. Now this serves as an excellent way to minimize any shake or disturbance to your aim, for example if you are switching between DPI levels. And in total we have 10 buttons, so starting off with your left and right click, a very solid scroll wheel with excellent feedback, zero play and a great textured surface. DPI change buttons are out of the way but can be naturally accessed without any disturbance and all the four buttons on the left side are placed appropriately for your thumb to do the job with your browser buttons, uh, the very popular sniper button and sort of a concealed button for your thumb that requires a lot of pressure and is very difficult to press without disturbing your aim. The profile switch button sits right beside the middle finger which is very convenient and the three discrete LEDs on the side of the mouse indicate which profile you're using along with which of the three DPI settings is currently in use. Now speaking of the LEDs, the mouse has a touch of fancy with customizable color system for your scroll wheel and the sniper button. Now what's cool is this massive array of colors that you can choose from from the software menu for each of the buttons. Uh, now even the ability to adjust the saturation or brightness is included. Now this is that sweet icing gamers are looking for and it's very nice to see Funk is covering some of those details. Uh, still a weight system in my opinion is more preferable over color adjustments. Now when it comes to the MS3 software this is one of the best and compact UIs that we've worked with. We get our usual DPI adjustments for the three steps and the sniper button with the maximum set to 5760 DPI which is I would say reasonable. We have more goodies such as scroll speed, lift off distance and some other useful settings. Now when it comes to button assignments we do get a decent list of default commands but also the ability to record your own macros which for a gaming mouse could come in very useful. Now the last one is the color setting which also offers great flexibility for customization for each of the three profiles that are saved on the mouse and not on the software. The MS3 connects with a regular USB port with a braided cable. Now we have the specific design on the cable that will help you to differentiate between different peripherals at the back of your computer. Now let's divert a little from the mouse and take a look at the 1030L surface. This is a dual sided design, one with a bit more grain for a little more resistance and another smoother surface for easier gliding. Now both surfaces have completely different feel and allow the user to experiment with either one for whatever you prefer. Simply pop out the surface outside of an insert, flip it and you have yourself a different mouse pad. The convenience of this dual design is certainly there and having a primary base that holds the dual sided mat is quite clever with large rubber bits at the bottom to prevent the mat from sliding regardless of the surface you're using. One drawback to this design however is the surface isn't really secured inside the main frame and can easily pop out. 
Now, of course, you're not going on the roller coaster with this thing, but you might experience some play while using the mousepad. Of course, this is not a big deal and almost unnoticeable while gaming. Now, in combination with the MS3, this new line of gaming products from Funk carry great potential to break in the market by offering this unique ergonomic design. And throughout my testing with gaming, I was initially skeptical of the shape. To me, it was a bit too bulky and honestly a little uncomfortable. But after some time, the mouse grew on me and the additional finger support actually proved useful for long gaming sessions. The sniper button is placed right below your thumb, which is very rewarding to use for some accurate headshots. Now, while I do prefer a slightly heavier mouse, this lightweight didn't bother me so much with appropriate DPI sensitivity. Now, this mouse will certainly work for larger hands, but may prove too bulky for those with smaller hands. And so to recap, what we have here is a good set of gaming goodies that bring functionality to the table. The MS3 is designed with comfort in mind, with the additional finger support, with an excellent focus on button layout and quality. Sensor tracking was excellent and so was the driver software, with many options for button and color customization. But I do feel the size is not for everyone, and many might find it unconventionally large. And the lack of weight customization is a big deal, especially with such a saturated market. And the lower left thumb button is very difficult to press, which will disturb your aim. The 1030L surface proved to be an excellent choice for a gaming mat. The dual surface design, while may not be utilized often, still provides double the options than your standard mouse pad. And the quick flip between each side is hassle free. There are no issues with tracking and both surfaces perform quite well. My only gripe with the 1030L is their slight play with the surface inside the frame, which could be addressed with some internal clips. But overall, the MS3 along with the 1030L serve as functional gaming peripherals and showcase what Funk is capable of. Now let's hope they take into consideration the feedback from gamers and further improve the functionality we were expecting. But at a decent price point, both the mouse and mouse pad received a damn good award. So thanks guys for watching, let us know what type of setup you have going on with your mouse and mouse pad, and we'll see you guys in the next one.